Okay, you're right. Welcome to your video tutorial on decreasing and increasing by percentages. We've done a lot of this stuff in class. This is just consolidating our knowledge. Okay, percentages are regularly used when dealing with money. We got this the other day when we've been looking at activities for discounts. We either have discounts, so when we decrease by a percentage, but I'm going to introduce you to a new concept called markups, and that's when we increase by a percentage. So for example, if a shop owner bought in a drink at, it cost him $2 to buy it from the manufacturer, he's not going to sell it for $2 because he doesn't make anything. So he does what we call a markup. And he marks up every product by a certain percentage. So it might be 20%, 10%, 50%. He might mark it up by 100%. So he might make lots of money. So you can increase by percentages and they're called markups. Okay, so find the new value when $160 is increased by 40%. So unlike the book, I'm going to get you to do a few mental strategies. $160, I'm being increased by 40%. So 10%, 10% equals $16. Therefore, my three little dots, 40% is going to be equal to 16 times 4, which is going to be... Uh, 4 times 10 is 40, 6 fours are 24, 40 plus 24 is $64. So 160 is increased by 40%. My answer isn't $64, I'm hoping you see, okay, because it's increased and it says find the new value. So I have to take that 64 and I have to add it to 160 because I want to find the new value once I've added 40%. So 160 plus 60 is 120, 224. Okay, 224 is my new price. Okay, so this is new price. Okay, I also want to find out the new price if $63 is decreased or discounted by 20%. So let's have a look at this. $63 is my original amount, 10% is going to be equal to move the decimal spot one place. We can't round this time, so it's going to be $6.30. Okay, therefore, three little dots, 20% is going to be equal to $6.30 times two. Okay, six times two is 12, 30 cents times two is 60 cents, so 20%, sorry, I'm just going to go down here, is going to be $12.60. cents. Okay, my new value, okay, my new value is going to be, oh, I didn't write the three there. My new value, I'm just going to rub out some room on here so I have a little bit of room. Okay, I didn't really think this one through very well. Okay, my new price, okay, because it is decreased, is going to be 63 minus $12.60. 63 minus $12.60 becomes $50.40. Okay, so that's my new price, $50.40, because that's 63 decreased by 20%. Okay, find the cost of an $860 television that's been discounted by 25%. Okay, find the price of uh, or the cost of an $860 television has been discounted by 20%. Okay, we can do it a few ways, 25%. We can do it a few ways. So I start off with 860. I'm going to get you to use mental strategies. Okay, 10%. Uh, oh, that looks a bit funny. 10% is going to be equal to $86. Therefore, 5%. Oops, I might not put that for. 5% is going to be half of that. So half of 80 is 40 and half of 6 is 3, so $43. And I need 25, so I need two of those and one of those. 10, 20, and 5. Yep, okay. So 25% is going to be equal to 86 plus 86 plus 43. 86, 86, and 43 equals... $215, okay, so it's been discounted and it started off at $860 and it's been discounted by $215, so it's going to be new price, okay, 
okay, is going, oops, I spelled price wrong. New price is going to be 860 minus 215, which is equal to $645. Okay. Now, this one down here, this one down here, find the cost of a microwave that has been, a cost of a $250 microwave that has been marked up by 12%. Now, you can do this in a few different ways, okay? You can calculate 12% of $250 or you can, uh, like on pen and paper, so that's the 12 over 100 times 250 over 1 and then you can cancel and you can go boom, boom and then I'm left with 10 and 25, so that goes in twice. That goes in five times, five goes into 10 twice and into um, um, 25 five times. And then you can go one step further and say, okay, uh, 12 times five is 60. Okay, two times one is two. So it's going to be $30. Okay, so $30 is 12% um, of 250. And so if it's $30, my markup's going to be new price, my markup's going to be 250 plus 30, and that's going to equal $280. So that's the kind of stuff we were doing the other day. The other option that you do have, however, if you don't want to use the pen and paper method, say for example you had been given the calculator, um, there's another way you can do it. Um, there's a few different ways you can do it actually, and let me show you this one. If it's been marked up by 12%, Okay, you can either go 250 times 0 0.12 and get 30 and then add them together. That's one option. And your other option is, again, you can do that with all of these. I was just trying to get you to use mental strategies. Um, your other option is, however, if it's being marked up by 12%, it's going to be 100% of what it was originally worth plus 12 now, how do I write 100% as a decimal? Well, it's 1 plus another 12% on top of that is that. And what you'll find is if you type 250 times 1.2, so 1.12, so it takes all of that 250 in the 1, then it adds the other 12%. You can actually do it in one step. So you can actually get 280 in the one step. So they're the two options, guys. If you can't use a mental tool strategy, you can use that written way I showed you, and you can use a calculator.